Today we're going to be talking about a story, a memoir, called by any other name. Memoir by Santa Rama Rao. A memoir is a true story told as a memory, usually in the past tense. The author is the narrator who uses a first-person point of view. Remember that. It's a first-person point of view. It tells us that she's going to say I, uh, we, those types of pronouns that are in first person. I went to the store or I love to eat uh, tacos, whatever. That's first person. It does not retell the author's entire life. It only tells a little bit, a little piece. And a selected memory or memories reflect a message or lesson. We already covered this part about how important is a name. Uh, and remember Juliet saying, what that which is called a rose by another name would smell as sweet. Meaning that, uh, you know, Romeo, even though his family name was different, he was still as sweet, still as handsome. And so it didn't matter what his name was. Um, we asked how important is a person's name? Uh, we read this paragraph about analyzing historical context. This historical context is part of the setting. Okay, it tells us uh, that India was a colony of Great Britain. So the story is in India. It talks about uh, a school. The headmistress or principal of Santa Rama Rao School was British. And uh, Great Britain ruled the Indian subcontinent from 1858 to 1847. Now, this next paragraph, to analyze the point of view that Samantha Rama Rao brings to her experiences at school, identify details of history and culture that helped to define India in the 1920s, then make inferences about Rama Rao's perspective on these details. So you want to look at the history and the culture uh, in the 1920s, now that's our setting. We've got uh, Santa Rama Rao in India in the 1920s, time and place. The next part gives us an, an excerpt, a little piece of the story. Up to then, my mother had refused to send Pramila to school in the British-run establishments of that time. We read this and for some reason, her mother doesn't want uh, Pramila to go to a British-run school. We infer Rama Rao notices her parents have mixed feelings about the British. The next part, I had never really grasped the system of competitive games. It was not for years that I really learned the spirit of the thing. Okay? Rama Rao finds the competitive atmosphere of the British school different from the caring atmosphere at home. Okay, so as you read, you look for these details of history and culture that gives you a point of view uh, for the author who is telling her own story. An author's purpose uh, is the reason the author writes a particular piece, whether to inform, persuade, or entertain the audience. As you read this piece, analyze Rama Rao's authorial choices. What historical and cultural details does she share with readers? Based on her choices, what can you infer about her purpose for writing? As you read, mark details about history and culture. Details may relate to food, dress, customs, language, class, or ways of interacting. They may also relate to the people Rama Rao comes into contact with. Think about why Rama Rao shares these details. What do the details reveal about her purpose for writing? And here is here is some critical vocabulary: precarious, insular, sedately, and tepid. We've studied those words before, and uh, you can look them up in Google if you have a question. But what I'm going to have you do is answer these questions using those vocabulary words.